we'll talk about Ashtang, the eight limbs of yoga. And this, these limbs have been provided to us through ancient wisdom. Uh, Asht, eight, Ang, limbs. So eight limbs to perform a journey with the least amount of karma, with the least amount of effort. So your journey is smooth, it's coherent, it's harmonious, and all the parts of the journey flow into each other. So what are these eight limbs? So let's say you take a journey from point A to point B. And how can I make that journey most harmonious, uh, smooth, comfortable, and productive, and fruitful with the least amount of toxic residue that is left from the journey? The first limb is called Yam, and Yam represents the rules of the journey. So understanding as much as you can what are the rules that govern this journey. Uh, finding out from your mentors, from your friends, from other people what are these rules, and then enforcing and making sure you understand these rules. The second limb is called Niyam, and Niyam is the discipline, the self-discipline, like guardrails you place around yourself to make sure that you are able to follow on the rules that you've set for yourself. Like guardrails around roads, when you're going on a mountainous roads, we have guardrails so you don't fall off. And the guardrails have to have some buffer. So they're not rigid guardrails, they don't hurt you, but they allow you to take a journey without imposing strict boundaries and limits. So there should be some buffer fluidity in the niyam, in the guardrails. The third limb is called asan. And asan essentially places stress on you. So you stress yourself to make sure that when unexpected things happen, you're still able to survive, do well, and thrive. So asans, which we do in a typical yoga class, where we take postures. Asan, the purpose of the asan is to create that robust body, robust mind, uh, where you can handle stress without panicking, without being anxious, without suffering uh, a sense of despair, discomfort, and so on. The fourth limb is called pranayam. And pranayam, which pran means life, yam, rules of life, uh, it essentially represents the nourishment we need to carry our journey. Just like a car needs gasoline or electricity or some other energy source, we need nourishment to carry our, our journey. The first and most important nourishment is breath. Without breath, we can't survive. So a lot of emphasis is placed in yoga on very slow, mindful, deep breathing, opening our lungs, filling our lungs with fresh, clean air. So breath is one part of nourishment. There are many other nourishments, food, nourishing food, which is healthy, uh, fruits and nuts and vegetables, something that nourishes your body uh, and provides healthful benefits and not toxic kind of food, food that is uh, hurting your body. Love is also nourishment, so having loving relationships in your life which allow you to grow, nurture and follow your path uh, with a sense of optimism and joy. So loving relationships. Also being in nature, just being surrounded by beautiful trees, ocean, mountains, being in nature provides nourishment, it provides that sense of I'm important, the world is beautiful, and I'm participating in this beautiful world. Uh, also, nourishment comes from just wealth. One needs money, one needs wealth also to uh, sustain a journey. So one can't ignore this, although that's not the only nourishment, that's one of the nourishments. One needs to pay attention to material wealth as well. So material well-being is also part of pranayama. So these five elements, breath, uh, food, loving relations, nature, as well as material uh, things that we need. All those form part of pranayama.